we are running today. <laughs> Today's Friday the 26th of Jan and I can get out and run so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You guys are gonna be coming along with me. If you've been before, hello you, come on in, get your trainers on, don't take a seat. <laughs> if you are new and you've just come across my channel, very very quick background on me. My name is Lucy, I've been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. Back then I weighed 230 pounds and I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds at a time. I tried to find someone online who who I could relate with, who had the same struggles as me, but yet managed to overcome all of them and become the runner that I really dreamed of being. Since then, I've run a lot of miles and I've lost a lot of weight and I have overcome all of those struggles and barriers that I've put up for myself. If you are in need of a virtual running buddy, then hit that subscribe button down below. There is over 7,000 of us now and all levels of runners are welcome here. I have had a company reach out to me on Instagram. I know, right? Me, <laughs> of all people, have said that they saw my YouTube and they wanted to send me a running vest. So I have a new running vest, which is incredible. Wait, I have it some, oh wait. Oh! <laughs> Say, why me? Why did they pick me? <laughs> the running vest, just down here. This is the company. They're called True Strap and their socials and their website and yeah I'm gonna I'm not gonna run with this today I'm just gonna do my usual setup with Storm and then head back out and run but I will be trying this on and letting you know what I think of this at the end of the video so incredible stick around for that <laughs> yeah so we're gonna get Storm ready he's actually in the kitchen waiting for me to get the lead on. <laughs> we're just gonna go for a run and we're just gonna chat. I'm just gonna spend this morning doing something that needs to be done, which is going for a run. <laughs> also, before I go, I have a hole in my leggings and it's like just here. You see that tiny hole? How infuriating. I hate it when that happens. That has happened before and I've sewn them up, but I'm at that point where I'm like, do I now hunt around the house for my sewing kit, which, it's touch and go whether I will find or not <laughs> and stitch that up before I go or do I just go and risk it do I just go and risk it mm, I've done that before and I've I've had a rip in my leg um but the hole was like further down so let's see what happens <laughs> I'll have you with me, I'll have Storm with me, I won't be able to ring Matt and tell him to come pick me up because my leggings are falling apart, but hey, let's do this together, let's see what happens, shall we? <laughs> I'm already a mile and a half in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I haven't been able to chat with you guys because everybody is out with their dogs. <laughs> I know I'm out with mine, but it's not normally like this when I'm out with Storm. So I'm having to like keep control of Storm and make sure he stays with me. And I'll turn a different way to avoid a dog I see. And then there's another dog the way I've gone. <laughs> oh, there's a dog now. <laughs> right, I'll pause now so I can actually talk to you. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that lady was lovely. She she actually stopped and let me run past. It's so early in the run and he's not shattered yet. He's really pulling towards them. So that's why I like to stay out the way, but there's just so many dog walkers today. I don't know if it's just because it's a nice day. It is quite cold. Like, I wish I'd worn an underlayer, not because I'm cold, but because my arms are freezing. Like, they're so cold and my hands are so cold. And as you can see, it, it looked sunny, but I am definitely sweating and I am hot, so it's just my arms and my hands. <laughs> I think an underlayer would have been too hot, so either way, I was never gonna win today. <laughs> I'm gonna try and just go around the houses and hope that there isn't dog walkers there. Normally, that's where they all are, around the houses. <laughs> so, hopefully it's not 
riddled with other dogs. I mean, I'm okay with other dogs. I'm okay with people walking their dog, obviously. It's just when I'm running, it's difficult for me to obviously get footage because I'm constantly focusing on storm and storm safety, not running into the road or whatever it is. But when there's no dogs around, storm is just very well behaved. <laughs> so I can film quite easily. So yeah, that's uh, a mile and a half. What are you looking at still? Anyway, mile and a half and keep going. I think Storm's got a lot in him today, so let's just see how far Storm can go, shall we? Yeah, they look strong. <laughs> Two and a half miles and I finally found somewhere <laughs> with no dogs, which ironically is a field. <laughs> Chances are I'll see some more, but they are everywhere. <laughs> I'm having bun issues again. <laughs> I think I need new hairbands. They're just not tight enough for my runs. It's bouncing. It's really annoying. It's been half an hour. The dog's looking a little bit more tired. I'm getting a bit more tired. My average pace is 10.28 and I feel like I've been going quicker than that. I'm having a really good run. I feel good, but I, the numbers just aren't matching up. But that's okay, you know what? Irrelevant, I feel good and that's all that matters really, isn't it? Hey, Sum. Oh, he's the cutest dog in the world. <laughs> I'm tempted to get another whole lap done around here because there really isn't any animals which is good so having a sniff really annoyed actually because normally i would have filmed quite like a lot more than this by now and like i would have been done like half an hour is normally what storm does i'm gonna do another loop with him along here and then i'll see how he feels after that so i will catch you in another loop Okay, we're at the very end of the run now and 39 minutes and 46 seconds I've ran 3.79 miles I'm going to do four miles because storm is really flagging like he's running next to me <laughs> and behind me <laughs> so right let's get this hill done go let's go oh, he's still running next to me <laughs> I wanted him to pull me up oh, never mind I'll have to work hard myself. <sighs> this is tough. So you know I've had a really, really good run. A really enjoyable run. Do you know what? I'll tell you about it later. I can't, I can't talk on this hill. My legs are burning. <laughs> All done. <laughs> right, I've just got to get a picture for Instagram because so I can't believe you got to do that in all of the stress of running with the dogs around. <laughs> Come on, Storm. <laughs> can you tell how tired he is? Four miles completed. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit 50-50 with that run. I'm going to do my trainers as I talk to you <laughs> because a lot of things went wrong, but a lot of things didn't go wrong. So do you want the bad news or the good news first? <laughs> the bad news is that there was a lot of dogs there and I really wanted to get a good video out for you guys. Um, so I'm actually a little bit disappointed in myself. Not in myself, because it was out of my hands. I have to pay attention to my dog and I have to make sure that we are both safe. Not that anything bad is gonna happen with another dog. It's just, if there's a, another dog that sees him that's excitable and there is a road in between them, Storm could nudge towards the road and obviously I'm attached to him around my waist so I'm always conscious that I am connected to Storm. Yeah, lots of other dogs and it's a couple of times where I took my phone out of my vest and tried to get some clips but then there was another dog that came around the corner. This happened twice. There was one that came around the corner and there was one that came um, 
directly in front, but they were in the distance and the sun was in my eyes, so I didn't see them straight away. And obviously Storm clocked them and they clocked Storm and I nearly dropped my phone on both of those occasions. <laughs> so that um, gave me a little bit of anxiety. I think my anxiety with vlogging in public around other people is definitely still there, but it's not as bad as it used to be. It just reminded me of when I used to be like super anxious. I used to make sure like nobody was around so they could see me. <laughs> and Storm was going really strong, but by the end, after sort of 30 minutes, Minutes, he was really starting to flag like he was really slowing down and he got really tired and then I'd already ran I was already away from home so I couldn't really like bring him back home quickly <laughs> because he was so tired so um yeah then we obviously had the big hill to tackle and he wasn't tackling that at all <laughs> just he just trotted along yeah so that was really the gist of what wasn't great about this run but what was good was i felt really good today i know my average pace i can't remember what it was but i think it was like 10 30 but i i know my average pace wasn't fantastic but the fact that i felt so good at that pace don't get me wrong i was still working hard you can see i'm hot and sweaty and i definitely was working hard my legs were burning on the hill and obviously in the beginning i have a big ball of energy storm <laughs> attached to me and he's really pushing me to to go quicker in the beginning so maybe if i was on my own without him would i felt as comfortable as i did today i'm thinking potentially yes i would have done i felt that good today i actually outran storm properly <laughs> I didn't just drop him off when I felt like he was done. I fully outran the dog, which is something I never thought I would be able to do. I'm just curious to know what he's going to be like when Matt gets back and he's running at like seven minute mile pace. Storm's... I feel sorry for Storm. <laughs> I am going to uh, get Storm some more water because I can't hear him drinking, which probably means he's run out. And I'll show you my new running vest. We'll have a look together. We will unbox together. You're getting two videos in one today. <laughs> too hot <laughs> i am now washed dried fed <laughs> and it's time for me to open up my little gift but before i do that i am getting really stressed about my hair and i'm just gonna moan about it <laughs> i really really need to get my hair cut i think it's just way too long i got home from that run and it took me another hour to get to this stage <laughs> so bath hair wash condition blow dry by the time i'd done all of that it had taken an hour of my day and before i know it it's nearly lunchtime when i had my shorter hair it honestly did not take me long at all let me know in the comments below if this is really niche <laughs> But let me know in the comments below if you have the same struggle. Like it's the, it's the hair wash. And back in the day when I very first started this, it used to put me off starting a workout because it would take me so long to wash my hair. It did put me off. But anyway, let's get on with this. So I had a message on Instagram from True Strap. Now I do want to start off by saying that my requested my requested messages on Instagram is a place that I tend to avoid. I had a few um how do I put it? <laughs> very supportive messages quite nasty and it's happened a couple times in those messages and to be honest it puts me off opening it i don't even want to see it that sort of opinion is none of my business so i tend to avoid so if you have messaged me on there i'm really sorry those awful people have kept me away from that inbox but this company left a dm on one of my comments and other messages that are in that inbox tend to be like scammy, you know, not like genuine people. But I clicked on their page and these were a legitimate, decent company who were selling something that I genuinely would want to try. And when I read their message, they didn't ask me to review it, didn't ask me to talk about it. They just wanted to give me a vest and unbelievably generous. The kindest thing Ever. So let's open this up. I actually got it through the post yesterday. Um, they did ask me what colour I wanted. They had they do these in two colours. One black and one silver. And I asked for the black one. Okay. Here we go. Nicely packaged. It says, welcome to the True Strap family. <laughs> oh, it has a little card inside. 
Oh, okay, so this is the guide to explain how to use a certain part of the vest. So yeah, there we go. And here is the vest. It really reminds me of a free train. If you guys remember, I used to have a free train, but my husband <sighs> broke it. <laughs> I was not happy with him. Oh, this feels really nice, you know. Oh, it smells like a sports shop. <laughs> it smells nice. Yeah, having a look over, it looks really nice. It has a pouch here for my phone to go in. It also has a zip behind that which do you know what that's really really good i feel like the free train was good but it extra pocket wise um would have made it even better and this is what they've done they've added a pocket behind the phone so yeah that's a really good idea that's really nice and deep you could probably get quite a few gels in there the front okay so here are the tabs are they look like yeah they're extendable so a really good idea is gonna be clipping your key onto here and then i mean i could just leave a key on this i mean i won't because there is every possibility that i will misplace this and then lose a key <laughs> so i won't leave a key on there but <clears throat> i can definitely put the key on here and then yeah it's a great idea so if it does fall out it's it's not going to go anywhere which is really really good these look like they come off as well which is great and there's a little pocket down here so you can just tuck it in so it doesn't like jingle jangle everywhere, which is brilliant. I probably don't need two of them. So I could take one off and have it as a spare. So in here is a pocket that you could fit a gel in here, to be fair. You could get a gel in there. And then on here, there's another little zip pocket. That's really small. So I'm not sure what I would put in there. Could probably get um, a poo bag in there for Storm actually, thinking about it. And that would be handy and here this is the back really good quality material actually and this is the strap um i'm gonna put it on i'm not wearing running kit but i'm gonna put it on i have it on this is how it fits i haven't adjusted it this is as it came this feels good i feel really supported the thing feels comfortable it feels really really comfortable that's the thing for me there's the back just there. Oh, <laughs> I'm on my knees right now. That's the thing for me. I need it to be comfortable. That's why I'm obsessed with my Solomon running vest that I wear with the dog and obviously all the time, really. Or shorter runs where I don't feel like I'm going to need a drink or when I'm not with the dog, I don't need to pack poo bags. When I'm not filming as well, this would be perfect because I could just tuck my phone away. And also, I've just noticed as well, underneath there is little holes oh, i can still use my wired headphones with this yeah i think there might be a sale on at the moment but this video yeah this video is going to come out a few weeks after i film it so yeah check them out but again i've not been asked to talk about this i'm not being paid to talk about this they've just unbelievably kind and they've sent me out a running vest and i'm over the moon guys i hope this video wasn't too crazy and random Thank you so much for watching today and please do hit subscribe if you are in need of a virtual running buddy. Make sure to give this video a like if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys soon for some more updates. Bye guys!